Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm so happy that I'm here uh, between you, students and professors, and maybe researchers. I don't know. Everybody want to work in Germany or Italy and need to have information about job opportunities, about salaries, and about uh, job positions, and how you can apply which documents it's needed. Uh, and uh, uh, we can uh, we will talk about uh, salary and also about uh, the range uh, uh, for engineers for every positions and also uh, uh, it's ne uh, needed to be able about a foreign language and also how we can uh, find a job uh, in Germany and also in Italy. And uh, if somebody is a, a student can work beside their study or not and about the passport and the resident permits and we will talk uh, at the end about uh, documents with Alan uh, from Germany and uh, me in Italy. Uh, we will talk uh, about uh, comparison between these two countries. Hello, Alan. Uh, uh, I'm nice to meet you first here. And uh, can you introduce yourself uh, for the subscribers and uh, people that uh, they are seeing you? Hey, Alirazo, thanks, thanks for giving me opportunities to talk about myself and what I do here. So I'm Avnis. Uh, basically, I'm from Nepal and I'm a master's student here. And I'm, I'm working also as a wor working student and also I'm having my own company. So talking about me is uh, I'm doing my master in digital entrepreneurship here uh, near Berlin uh, in Frankfurt Oda. That's like a small city. And uh, I also um, started my own company as I'm an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship student. So I thought like, okay, being an a entrepreneur or studying something which is like related to uh, starting your company or how you are going to establish your company, why not should I start something on my own or like just give a try? And so far I started my company last year in uh, December and uh, yeah, I'm... I'm having great time with my study also with my uh, my own startup and also as I mentioned like I'm also working in a company as a working student so yeah so that's uh, kind of like about me and once again I mean um, thanks a lot to Ali Reza so it's great pleasure to talk about what is going on currently in Germany and also in Italy. So we are going to yeah. have a deep conversation and comparison. Yes, I, I uh, hope it will be go it uh, go very well. And uh, if uh, somebody have a question, can comment uh, here for this video, and I will answer uh, quickly in the comments. Uh, the first part, uh, we will talk about uh, the salary for uh, job positions, and we will uh, compare the net salary for um, each one of them. For example, Alan, could you please uh, tell me how much it's a, a salary for mi a minimum and also uh, maybe average for the people that are that they are starting a job after graduation or they don't have any experience? Uh, okay, so um, it's totally vary about like your fields. Like, uh, for example, like if you're from like IT background, like uh, let's let's suppose you are like a software engineer or like you studied computer science in your bachelor and you graduated. So you can start your career as a junior position where you can expect like around at least uh, more than like 50,000, 50K per year. And again, it depends on like what kind of company are you working on. Maybe in a startup, they pay less. But if you are like going with MNC, MNC is like multinational companies, then there the pay scale is like quite high. And also, uh, it's just not about like software engineer, but nowadays like uh, there is like a huge scope of data analytics, data science. So their paying scale is like way higher than uh, a normal, like uh, a normal software engineers. So, and also like apart from IT, so it's not like only IT um, students are here. There are like students from management, there are students from uh, politics, law, 
so you can expect an an average when you start your uh, career in in a company in a in a professional way so you can expect more than uh, or around 60k per year like 60000 euro is it a gross income or is net ah uh, it's a gross income so there will be like a, uh, taxes of course like everywhere you have to pay tax and then if we are talking about tax so it depend on uh, whether you are single or whether you are married whether you have like a kids so they have like a few categories and it depend on like which category you belongs to yes and what about the um, uh, mid level position and senior level positions in so if if you have uh, around let's let's suppose you have like 3 year of experience or 5 year of experience then you can expect at least um, 80k per year and also like if you have like a if you have nice skill which company requires then you can you can demand more so yeah. it's it's totally on you on your skill sets on also like how you adopt with the technology because te- technology is like changing rapidly so it's it's totally on your your side and if you have like around 5 year of experience you can also like i know like my friends are making like more than 100k who they have like just 5 year 6 year of experience as a software engineer so um but uh th- in, th- at the first i want to take an account a point uh, the cost is different in germany and italy compared to the income so uh, it's not a good comparison but uh, we can uh, consider this cost and this income to have a good result because uh, it's important to know about the cost but uh, here in italy is different for entry level positions you said about it Uh, it start from twenty thousands to thirty thousands per one year, and also for mid level positions and senior level, it's uh, between thirty uh, to fifty thousands, and also fifty to one hundred thousands. It depends to the experience, it depends to the um, skills, and how much you have ability to work and which company you are working. Uh, yeah, yeah let let me let me add one more thing like it's not about like just how much they pay so we have like for example as a as a outlander as a foreigner so i need when when i graduated i need to change my visa status like from student visa to uh, blue card so they have like at the minimum thresholds like for example like for germany uh, they like in it field they have like 43000 something like around 44000 euro so if you are making that much money then only you can convert your like visa status from like a student visa to blue card if you are making less than that then you you can change to like work permit so companies are like they try to pay more than that so in in it but if you go with like non it so like the minimum threshold is 53000 it's just like 10k more than like the it and it, it it's like kind of like same uh, same rules for like it and non it only like the gross income is like for non it it need like more but again like if you have just a, a decent job it's not about like it non it even like non skilled for example if you are working in logistic so there you make less money let's let's say like i can give like a uh, around number so you make like around 2500 to 3000 like per month and uh, you can also change your visa status with that amount also it also it depends on the contracts yeah yes. uh, but um it uh, depends on your uh, cv and uh, on your uh, experience yeah Uh, it depends on everything else. and and the next topic it's about uh, it's uh, necessary to be able to talk in foreign language for example if you're working in germany it's needed to be able to talk in uh, germany language and also in italy it's uh, important to know I- italian uh, first of all okay so uh, uh, it again like um, it depend on city 
So, for example, like I'm talking, like currently I'm in Berlin and I'm in my office. So I'm talking from my office and my whole work is in English. So I don't need German. So it's uh, it's like if you if you are working somewhere or you are living in a big city. So the cities are fully diverse. There are like people like from different countries and it's not like you really need German, but it's it's good to have German language, like in case of Germany. So, for example, when I was living in different country, different city, like a small town, like compared to Berlin, there I need to speak German. So it's it's if you know German, so you have more opportunities than just knowing English. So if somebody wants to come to germany like for example someone who is watching this video and they have like curiosity to know more or like how they can come or how they can learn the language so if you want to come here you have to or i mean you must learn german it will be helpful for your daily life you go to supermarket if you are in berlin or hamburg frankfurt order or frankfurt sorry, not Frankfurt order, uh, or Munich, you need, you don't need German. But if you go to like a small town or middle, middle cities, like uh, middle, uh, like, like not like bigger, bigger town, but like, uh, you know, like a uh, small cities, you need German. So it's best to learn. And there are like a lot of platforms where you can learn German and also you can take classes. So, so uh, how many percent did you find the uh, job positions are in english um let let's let's suppose like um, around i will say 50 50 because now now like germany need like more people in it so most of the jobs are in english but at the same time if you if you are working in a german company so their first language is german so they need like german like that's like a must and it's not like you just need like basic uh, basic german no you have to be fluent like b2 label at least and if you are trying to get job in uh different countries like uh, multinational companies so there they have like flexible with like german language because they work in english they have international clients so where you need to just uh work in english so you don't need it so it's around like you can get like around 40 percent jobs are uh, in english and then 60 percent jobs where they need like a uh, uh, german language yeah it's good uh compared to the italy um i think it's more than 90 percent of job positions are in italian and also beside italian you need to have uh, a knowledge of english language but uh, you can find english language uh, job positions in um, a city that is more bigger and crowded like Milan and most of the city in the north of the Italy but uh, it's hard to find a job in English language and it's, I think it's necessary to be able to talk in uh, A2 or at least B1 uh, for Italian language and if you uh, know Italian language uh, you can be able and you have more chance to find a job position but uh, maybe sometimes it's uh, um, better to um, be uh, able to other like talk in other language also because uh, here is a e european union and uh, there is a lot of exchange program and also uh, international uh, positions you uh, must be able also to talk in three or four uh, language because of uh, the position that it depends on but uh, found yeah it's more than 90 percent of the job positions in yeah I, I i totally agree with you so uh, if you know multi-language so it's always plus even for example like if you want to work in a sales so if you know like like for example, you know French, or you know like uh, Span Spanish, or you know Italian. Like living in Germany, you know like multiple languages. It's always plus. Like, yeah, I think 
it's important to uh, before going uh, to one country to know a little about the language of the country if you're going to the Denmark or going to the uh, Netherlands it's important to be adequate in uh, English or uh, Dutch language or uh, Danish uh, proficient um, if you are satisfied we can forward uh, to our next topic yeah yeah I mean we can yeah. we can and also like I can tell oh. about like when I came to Germany I didn't know anything about German so after coming here though I was studying in my my whole course is in English but what I felt is like I was lacking with like German language so I started learning so, so I, so I can now, feel yeah so I can feel it the level of talking in German <laughs> I, I I can talk B2 but again, oh. living, living in Berlin, not using German, it's like if you're not using it, you will forget it. Yeah, and uh, how much you have will be available to talk? How much it takes time? Uh, uh, to okay, be so uh, normally, like uh, studying like one level, it takes like two months, uh, at least two months. So you can imagine, like, if you are like learning continuously, then it takes like around six months to like if you want to be fluent then it might take like one year but at least six months and you can you will be able to talk in german i found it so difficult more than other languages <laughs> <laughs> well i found it too but i'm living here in germany so i have to learn yeah because uh, italian language it's uh, so similar to spanish and also a little french so if you know uh, French and also Spanish, you can recognize Italian words in uh, talking. Um, uh, about uh, finding a job, is it hard to find a job and how we can find a job in Germany first? Okay, so um, I will tell you about like the current situations. You know? So most of the company are having a layoff that means like companies doesn't need that much employee that many employees so they are like uh, firing people from their company so now the, the market is like down but coming to your question how you can find a job so there are like multiple uh, job portals like for example like linkedin stepstone uh they are like indeed and also you can just simply search on google and it will show like the job openings and also there is like a glass door which i also like it i mean once upon a time i was also using glass door and they, these are like the uh, the portals like online portals where you can find the jobs and like job openings and then uh like other thing is like uh, what I will suggest you to let's go to like company website and then look for like you know like the position and then go through that like job description and then apply. Yeah. Uh, so these are sorry uh, for the, uh, um, interrupting. Uh, an important question is: Is there any website that is include all the companies uh, inside the website to find positions for special for Germany? Uh, for I mean, uh, LinkedIn LinkedIn is like one of the best. So because LinkedIn I mean, is, uh, and overall for all over the world. Yeah, but there there you can use like the filters. So there are like option which you can just uh, click like Germany and then it will show only Germany. And also they have like filters like for example like if you want to have like a like if you want to search a job in Berlin, then there is like uh, you can select the city and also like what kind of like whether you want like an entry level position or middle level or senior level or like you know like higher level. So they have like a particular filters you can you can give it a try. It's like really nice uh, platform, one of the best platform I will say. And uh, also um, there are like other ways to. Uh, apply for the job like uh, you can also apply as a job seeking visa to come to germany and you can get like a six month visa and within that six month you have to find a job and then you can uh, you can change your uh, job seeking visa into work visa so that's also like one way to come to germany and what i will suggest is like if you want to come to germany for work and you can simply come on job seeking visa which is like 
easier than finding a job from your countries it uh, why why i'm saying in that way is most of the companies like for example like startups they don't they don't sponsors visa so they they pay some amount but which is like okay which is like the minimum threshold to change your visa status but they don't offer like visa uh, sponsorship so if you are here in germany so you can you, like the doors are like there are like many doors opened but if you are trying from it like for example like if you are trying from italy so you will have like less opportunities than once you are here uh, so if you are here in germany you can apply in all the companies but if you are in Ger in italy and applying so you will get like uh, less opportunities yeah most of your work is same in italy and uh, also there is a lot of uh, websites like uh, that you said about linkedin and uh, uh about uh, glass store also we yeah. have job teaser here and uh, also you can uh, we can, i can mention uh, the um, company's website you can go inside the website and find if uh, any job opportunity uh, is uh, um, is uh, input in the website so, so uh but I prefer uh, to apply from the job teaser website. It's a good website for junior level. And uh, if you want to uh, use other professional website, you can use Indeed. I don't know if it's works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works here in Germany also. Yeah. It's good uh, website. You can uh, follow the uh, and filter uh, by the work uh, positions or the by the location and uh, find uh, um, your uh, um, job opportunity that you want. And uh, what about uh, working as a student in Germany? Uh, is it possible to somebody uh, in a uh, um, master's degree or in graduate degree or postgraduate degree to work beside their study or not? Well, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm also like I'm still a student, so I'm. I'm about to finish my study. So since two year, I'm. I'm also working as a, as a part time. It's like a, you are legally you are allowed to work, twenty hours per week. It's like I um, mean yeah. eighty eighty hours in a month. But if you have like five weeks in a month, so it's like hundred hours. And it was before before it was like 120 full days you are allowed to work but since uh if i'm not wrong since first of march like two months ago it like they changed to like 130 days so in a year you are allowed to work 130 full days or 260 half days so full day counts like 88 hours per day is count as full day and yeah, you you can work. I mean, you can work and also uh, working as a part time, like as a working student. We called in Germany, we can work a student. So if you're working that one, you can also do one mini job, which is like uh, uh, less than ten hour per week, and you will make not more than five hundred twenty euro. So you are like legally, you are allowed to work one um, part time job. 20 hours per week and also one mini job but i will never suggest anyone like as a student it's hard because you have to take care of your courses also you have to go to classes you have like assignments you are going to have exams and everything so it's like kind of too much so what i will suggest you to just you know do one part-time job and focus on your study yeah, uh, I'm agree, and also it's same in uh, Italy, and you can work twenty hours per week, and it's legally, and you can uh, you can't have any contract more than twenty hours per week, because uh, if you want to work, you need to have a, per a residence permit for work in Italy, yeah. and you must change a permesso di soggiorno uh, or a resident permit in Italy from uh, a student permit to work permit. Uh, and uh, it takes time need to contract a special contract about long-term uh, contract and uh, 
you can uh, work uh, in university if you are a student. Uh, a few universities I know in Italy, they invite uh, students about part-time job, uh, for example, um, helping visitors, uh, helping the students in office. Yeah, and yeah a, student, a student assistant. Yeah, a student assistant as a part-time job. And um, it's hard also in Italy to uh, be balanced between uh, the courses and also uh, the job. It's hard to manage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I even in Germany also, like, uh, you have to change your uh, residence permit or like permission like for example in my case i'm still a student but i had to get a permission like from uh immigration office like auslander behorde so we need to get like a permission to start my company so it was like okay i had to tell them like what i want to do what i am doing and it's like a lengthy process because germany is a bureaucracy country so you need to yeah. take care of a lot of things and well it's not hard to uh, change your status like your visa status but you have to have a valid reason to change yeah. it also uh, uh, there is in Italy one opportunity you can pay 2400 euro per one year uh, you can work for yourself freelancer uh, it's possible to update your residence permit in Italy. I don't know if it's German. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, it's he, I mean, yeah, here you don't have to pay uh, two thousand euro. Uh, so basically, like to get uh, your freelance permission again, you need to get permission from your university that your study is not like kind of like disturbing with your you know like uh, freelancing. <laughs> Yeah, and but then you have to. You don't have any work. You can just pay two thousand, uh, four hundred euro per one year to have a resident permit in Italy. So if you are a filmmaker or you don't have any work, or um, uh, well, yeah, here we don't have to pay that much. It's like uh, we pay uh fifty euro to get the permission, and then according to like your freelancing, how much you worked, and then you have to pay tax. And uh, is there a uh, resident permit about job seeking? Because after graduation, we have in Italy one year uh, uh, resident permit for job seeking. Yeah, we have uh, we have 18 months. So after your graduation, so like, for example, let's suppose like you, you started your bachelor thesis or master thesis. So most of the people get like full time job during that time when they are writing their thesis and once they finish their study they normally get a full-time job so you don't have to apply for job seeking visa at the time you you can directly apply for like blue card but if you are i mean that's really uh not like uh most of the situation most of the time people like a student get the full-time job but if they are not getting full-time job they can get a job seeking visa for 18 months which is like 1.5 year and within that time they have to find a job so it's not like they have to find in their own field like if they are from it they have to find in it no they can they can find in different field also but again like there there is like this um pros and cons so if you get like other job uh, which is like paying less money than like it so you get like a work permit not blue card so yes. that's that's the that's the difference i will say but again i mean if you if somebody has like some questions or something they can like reach out to me or reach out to alireza so we can you know like we can talk more about like in detail yeah it's good uh we talked about uh resident permit and uh, i need to uh, mention a few things about uh, uh permanent resident permit and passport uh, how uh, we can get a passport and a permanent resident permit uh, in germany and also italy first you okay uh so permanent okay so i'm not eligible yet but hopefully yes i will be eligible like in a couple of years so uh they i mean if you'll say like before it was uh five years so you have to be in germany for five years 
it's not just like you are in germany but you have to pay social uh, for this room like uh, social security you know so if you are working and paying social security for five year then you are eligible to apply for permanent residence you know but also like uh, you have to uh, I mean, you need to have like B1 level of German. So that's also one of like the criteria. And then, yeah, German B1. Is it necessary to be able to talk in B1? <laughs> <at least. laughs> no, I mean, you you need a certificate. So you need a certificate, doesn't matter whether you speak or not. Uh, because uh, documents speaks more than, you know, like uh, anything else. But yeah, I mean, but uh, people people do consider. I mean, um, like some cities, they. I mean, again, like if you're working in IT, so you have like more privilege than like non-skilled workers. So, but yeah, I mean, knowing B one and you are planning to stay in Germany, so it's always better to know the language. Doesn't matter whether it's like you are staying in Germany or Italy or any countries. So I was in Italy for like two weeks, like last year, and I didn't know apart from Ciao. So I I was facing like just for two weeks, and I was like having tough time there because everywhere people speak like Italian. So if I want to stay in Italy. I must know the language. Yeah. Yeah. So it's bit. Yeah, I think it's easy to talk in 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 Germany language after ten years. It's I think it's easy after five years, ten years, because you all communicate with other people and maybe other uh, friends in Germany. I, I I don't know what I feel. Well, uh, well, I can say like I have colleagues who are living here in Germany since five years and they don't know they don't speak German. They don't know how to speak German. So. You can imagine, like yeah, because also I believe uh, when you are uh, be, uh, in, gather with other people from Germany or maybe other friends, uh, it's uh, influence in your language, in your mind, and not only the language, uh, also it's about culture. Everything uh, um, affects on your uh, language. Also, uh, in Italy, if you want to have a permanent. Uh, residence permanent uh, you need to be five years in italy uh, you can work or a student and then uh, after five years you can update uh, and renew your residence permit for five years so after ten years you can request for uh, a passport, passport. In okay uh no i mean in germany i i mean if i'm not wrong they they change the rule so now i think like you need to like pay social security just for three year and then you can apply for permanent residence so they they they, they change quite frequently so it's really hard to like keep up to date but yeah it was harder before but now as germany need like uh skilled workers so also like uh, from June, they are going to uh, open like a chance card, which is like a opportunity card. So you can apply for that and you can come here and look for the job. And then once you got the job contract, then you can apply for like a residence card. Yeah, so they, cool. they are changing. They are making things smoother. And it, it's like a nice opportunities for like uh, people who like to come here in germany and they want to work or they want to have like a good life i mean it's it's better i mean you you know like how to compare like where you want to see yourself in coming years so if you want to see yourself in berlin or in germany i mean berlin is like one of the um uh, one of the best city for foreigners because we have so many international people you're walking on the road you will you will hear like English more than German. And also, could, could you please um, sort by uh, rate of income the city in... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's really nice nice point. I mean, thanks for pointing out. So, uh, okay. So, uh, basically, like, if you are living in big cities, for example, like, if you are living in Munich uh, or your company is located in Munich, so their pay skill is, like, more than uh like pay scale is more than like no like in a small city so 
Munich, Berlin, uh, Hamburg, Frankfurt, Köln. So these are like one of the biggest cities in Germany. And there you get like more salary than uh, companies are in small towns. Yeah, so, also, yeah. Yeah, also I, I have heard about uh, Berlin. It's most, uh, I think most uh, international if I... Uh, yeah, yeah, in Germany, yes. In Germany, yeah. Berlin is like one of the most, in entire Germany, yes. Berlin is like one of the and best place for... Of the Germany, yeah? Is it close to the north of Germany? No, Berlin? it's the east. It's east east. in east east side. So from Berlin, uh, Poland border is like just one hour away, like 80 kilometers around. So, I mean, Berlin is like a nice place, I will say, to stay, especially when you don't know German or like you are like really new in Germany. Berlin is one of the best place for you guys. Yeah, good. And uh, about uh, Italy, I think uh, Milan, it's most international city in Italy. And after that, maybe Venice and then uh, Torino and also Rome. I think uh, maybe sort by income. Uh, it's uh, also the uh, paying and the price are more. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, if... Uh, we get our income in Milan and pay in our cities. <laughs> it's good thing for saving money. And uh, also, I know a lot of people immigrate from south of Italy to north of Italy because of the rates of the income. I yeah. know a lot of people. I mean, I I also. I mean, most of the like, people whom I know they. It, I mean, they are working in Berlin, but they are living like outskirts, like just 20 kilometers or 30 kilometers far from uh, main city. And well, I mean, they are paying less, like the rent. And, but, but, I mean, but they pay by, uh, for, for uh, transportation. A transportation is totally, I mean, uh, I mean, Germany has like this uh, Deutschland ticket, which is like you pay 49 euro per month and you can travel whole Germany. I mean, you are you are not allowed to take like the fastest train, like ICE and IC, it's but more. it's much more cheaper than like you know like you know, like paying every day. So yeah. I mean, if you are living and also like especially with the Berlin, why I'm talking about Berlin because I living here since two years and I know everything. So if you are living inside Berlin, so you don't need your car. I mean, you don't need of a car so you can like the public transportation is one of the best so you don't have to wait for like even five minutes at any stations so the connectivity from one place to another place is amazing so you don't you don't even if you are living like 30 kilometer uh, far you just need like but, you know um, but in italy public transportation it's a little more uh, maybe same uh, about uh, the cost but uh, i think it's a little fucked up <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard to use uh, public transportation in uh, all the cities because I know uh, the cities in Germany are more developed and uh, are more um, updated. And uh, Italy is not the same about uh, being uh, smart and public transportation. Uh, of course, uh, we are uh, here and we have uh, train and also tram uh, in Milan and uh, also m uh, Metro uh, is here, but uh, it's um, for Milan and uh, just uh, three or four uh, other cities like Napoli and Rome. But other cities uh, are so big about public well, transport. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I belongs to like a small country, so we don't have train also. I mean, we don't have at all, like we don't have train. So for me, it's like, like seeing germany i mean up is like well developed country so we cannot say like uh, the transportations are bad or something but they also took time you know like developing a country is like not like just few seconds work it takes like years so they have quite good transportation now i mean even like small cities they have like good transportation so you don't need of like your private vehicles even if you're living in a small city so that's like one of the best and also like 
you have like 49 euro ticket so what do you want just you know like you can live anywhere i mean for example like i live a, like a little bit far from berlin and i pay less rent than like people who are living in berlin like i pay almost like half of the rent what people are paying here so if you want to you know like save some money and uh stay like uh, live in peaceful place you can just simply you know like uh live a little bit far from berlin or like big cities can you hear me yeah i can hear you yes oh sorry i don't know if i lost my connection i don't know yeah there was some connection problem but that's that's okay. uh, the technology Okay, yeah, I, I also I know a lot of people uh, because Milan is so expensive, a pricey to live, and I know a lot of people to uh, live in boundary, uh, uh, boundary location of the Milan and go to the center by transportation every day from morning to night. They are uh, living and working in the center and go uh, to the boundary of the city for just. Uh, relaxing at night and uh, just passing the time yeah yeah uh, i i re i remember when i when i came when i went to italy for a for a for project like in Taranto. so they they asked us to like uh, find a solution to connect like two cities like people like nearby Taranto, Taranto, they they normally come to Taranto to work so they asked like the municipality like the Ter Taranto municipality they asked us to find some way to connect these two cities like the north part if i'm not wrong it was north and south part of like uh, these uh, small uh, towns they want to connect and we had like really nice time there working on that project for five weeks and uh, yeah we gave them some kind of solution so i I can, I mean, I was there and I know what was the situation or like how the situation is in Italy. But yeah, there is always way to develop. Yeah, but, but it, it, there is a lot of uh, hope about uh, being more smarter and using uh, good uh, transportation, maybe in the future. But I know it, it's on culture. Maybe they... Um, the government prefer to use traditional mode and uh, going by taxi or um old bus i don't know <laughs> yeah. but uh, uh, another t important topic uh it's uh which documents are important to find a job uh okay so that's that's also one important things to discuss about like it's not just like finding a job so i i'm 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 the one who guide students like who guide even like working professional who want to work in germany so what i normally suggest them is make your cv according to job description so you are preparing your resume cv and normally what people do is uh, they just they just put everything whatever they know you know they don't they don't check like the job descriptions so what i normally suggest check the job job description and adopt your cv with job description like for example like the the job need like uh, some kind of skills like for example let's take like a python like programming language so the job description is like they need python but you mention like okay you didn't mention python but you mentioned like bunch of other programming language that doesn't fit you know and most of the time when nowadays like almost like most of the companies like they i have like uh, they have automation things so they have automation process where they uh, match the cv with the job description and then they kind of like give like the first response so documents wise you need your cv and then you need your, a strong motivational letter like cover letter why you want to like do this job or why you fit for this job and you have to mention about your like uh, uh weakness 
your uh, also like why your i mean you have to mention about all the things what you had before like your graduation about your what you study which skills you have or which you want to learn in future and why this job is like best for you and also like it's a typical uh, hr questions like why we should hire you uh, so you have to mention these things and make a nice like cover letter make it short and sweet don't don't make a lengthy one and apart from that you of course you need like your uh, diploma or bachelor or master degree whatever you have i know few people who doesn't have diploma but they got full time job they are working even in my team also i have one one of my colleague who is working full time but he just have his schooling he finished his schooling and he is working in a it company so yeah. you yeah it's it's same in italy all all the things and points that you mentioned and uh, how many page is it, uh, important to have uh, in our cv so um let's say you just graduated age is it important to be maximum to page or no it's it's not like you have to keep your uh, cv in two page or something but it's, it depend on your uh, skills or like like okay you are you are a master student or so you graduated like you finish your post graduation then you have like a lot of things to put on cv but if you are just a bachelor you know like you did gra you graduated and you don't have a lot of things like you didn't publish any paper or you did not attended any seminar or you know like you don't have any experience so you can try to adjust that in one page but if you have like more things to put on cv or like to show you can have it for two pages also but don't make it too lengthy i mean like reading cv for like three page cv i when i try to like when i have like resumes like to to hire someone i don't i mean if there is like three pages i don't check like three pages you know so it's kind you know, of like a bad yeah, yeah, because i know um a lot uh, said me uh they have enough time to check all the criteria and excuse yeah. in the just mention in one page or maximum two page yeah and max max two is like it's a uh, recommended i mean two pages is best i mean if you are trying to fit i mean if you can fit like within one page that's also best you know try to make uh, don't don't try to make like over attractive you know like having like different colors like multiple colors in your resume make it simple Uh, as a hiring person as a ceo when i try to hire someone for my company i don't you know like go for like graphic you know things in the resume so it's more like what how you are showing your skills or like whatever you did in your bachelor or so, activity so i, I uh, want to mention something because um if you feels uh, are important because uh, if you are applying for graphic design Yeah, or yeah then then it's best to so everything yeah. on your resume you know yeah it's important it, to be helpful and using the i don't know maybe a graphical mode uh and yeah i mean yes if you are trying it depends it depend on like uh, the jobs but if you are applying for like a non skilled job then i don't think like you need to have like a such kind of your know, cv so it's better but if you are a graphic designer or like ui ux designer make it classy uh, people like it yeah and uh, what about uh, using artificial intelligence for feeling and i'll <sighs> see because nowadays okay. i see yes. a lot yes i mean it's uh, it's fully recommended to use it i mean uh, we have opportunities but also, ai also found that a lot of company has ai detector <laughs> Ah uh, yeah I mean okay let's let's say in this way okay uh AI like chat gpt or like you are using bing or something it's nice to use it because like the technology is giving you opportunities to you know like use it but don't overuse it you know just don't copy everything from chat gpt you can write 
something like on the chat gpt prompt i'm not promoting chat gpt here i mean i'm i'm not getting paid for on chat gpt i'm not promoting it but like let's say open ai you know so uh, you can use it you know but once you got something from like prompt just try to write in your own words you know then it makes sense you know like i mean i can recognize if you are writing something to me i can recognize like whether you are using chat gpt or not or like any ai tool i have experience about rejecting because of the chat gpt <laughs> yeah 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 indeed indeed i totally agree i mean i can see like the text like i mean i can just see first on first instance like what whether the person wrote by like himself or herself or themselves or you are using like a chat gpt like or any ai tool but use it and try to write in your own words then it it makes sense at the end but yeah indeed it's a, it's a nice field and you have like a lot of opportunities even you can work in ai you can be a prompt engineer or something so there are opportunities yes use it yeah. but yeah also, don't uh, misuse it yeah yesterday i found uh, somebody uh, tried to use chat uh, gpt for uh, changing the face and for in- preparing for the interview i don't know if if you oh, know yeah. yeah 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 i know i know i know i know i know yes 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 uh, there i i also read one instance like uh, there was an incident where uh, like someone trained the chat gpt to give the interviews yes yeah. it's a cheating i don't i don't think but if you are uh, if you are smart enough then nobody can stop you <laughs> and being smart is good but being over smart is not good so it doesn't work yeah also i, I have uh, rejected uh at one time because uh, they uh, detected and they guess i am using chat uh, gpt they they wrote for me in email and yeah, i mean it was just a 30 to 40% after checking uh it was by ai yeah uh, i mean we have like uh, i mean as the entrepreneur uh, we have like some courses about ai where our professors they suggest us to use chat gpt but we have to uh, give like the citations you know like how we used it like what are the commands we wrote and what we got you know so we have to mention everything so we had like one course especially about chat gpt like not chat gpt open ai and where we need to write everything like how we used it what was the like the result and we were comparing with our you know like whether like they were giving like uh, this uh, open ai was giving like the right answers or not how correct like the correctness we checked it was such a nice uh, course which we took it and it's amazing i mean you but most of the time it doesn't give like the right answer so make sure you are cross checking it and then better to write in your own words i mean you can you can have your cover letter you can write from uh, open ai use use the ai tool but again just try to fit with your words yeah good thank you so much alwan if you have any additional information about uh, working in germany or if you have any suggestion you can say to us yeah i mean uh, the firstly what i will suggest to each of whoever is like watching us if you have any questions about germany or like how you can come to germany you can reach out to me uh, direct uh, uh, on his uh, uh, so, uh, youtube channel here in the description you can uh, message uh, him and- yeah you can you can message me on my youtube channel or you can message me on facebook like there is a page called the german guy and uh, what i will suggest to all of our viewers so they if they have like any like any plan to come to germany so there is like different way to come to germany as a as a student you can come for your bachelor or for masters and i will add one more thing um, studying in germany is free so you don't have to pay anything like it's totally free so you you will pay some semester contribution fee is uh, around 
300 350 euro per semester like for for six month and you will get like chance uh you will get like public transportation ticket which we called semester ticket and you can travel in whole germany so it's basically like you are studying free so you can do your bachelor for free masters for free and if you are like coming for phd there is like a nice uh, stipend so you get like good so, amount of money it's my time to advertise for italy it's free <laughs> <laughs> on education if you want to apply for a bachelor's degree or master's degree you can have a dsu a scholarship uh you don't need to pay uh anything just a tax it's around 150 euro per one year it's so com good. compare like <laughs> now now we are comparing italy and germany to in germany we just pay 350 yeah for fee and no need to pay uh for uh, uh but you, you, yeah yeah it, there is a, a lot of discount for transportation and uh, also uh, compared to the germany the accommodation is so less <laughs> yes yeah that's that's that i totally yeah. agree i also, totally agree yeah also the ministry of education in italy they will pay to you around seven thousands uh, it depends on your isa number and your uh, situation um uh, for uh, about uh, um, money about accommodation about uh, cars about house uh, you must prepare your documents uh, and uh, they will maximum pay to you seven thousands per one year to support your education uh, and in each uh, education level, you can use it one time. So uh, also, it's good. Uh, also, uh, there is a job seeking uh, president permit for after your graduation, and you can apply for it. Um, also, in this during this one year for job seeking, you can go to Germany for finding a work. <laughs> or <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's a nice idea. Yeah, no, I mean, I, 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 I also want to mention like it's not just about like studying for free. I mean, it's also like um, you will, you will learn a lot of things. Like, doesn't matter where are you studying, just try to do your best, you know. And uh, well, I'm, I'm studying here in Germany. I'm working in Germany. I'm, ha I'm having my own company here in Germany. So of course, I will say like Germany is good for me. So it will be good for you also. <laughs> but apart from like studying for free there are like scholarships also like where you can get like a 900 1000 euro per month like as a scholarship so that's also and also if you have like two years of experience like um, in your field so if and you're coming for like bachelor or master so you can apply for dart scholarship so you will get like 950 or 1000 euro per month for two years if your course duration is for two years you can get that one also and you don't have to return that money so it's like fully yours but yeah, also again you can use the loan of the banks in uh, italy uh, for your education if you are not um, eligible for in getting your found and uh, you can use the loan but you must pay back after uh, graduation to the bank and uh, there's yes. uh, also yeah it's chance yeah, I mean, every every country, I mean, uh, every country has like different opportunities, different uh, things to do in the country. And you just have to do best, you know, just give your best. And doesn't matter whether you are in Italy or in Germany. If you have like, if you are qualified, you have skills, you will make money, you will do better, you are going to have a good life. So just think about it. And also you have to consider your priorities like i'm not saying like you have to come to germany but if you want i'm here yeah uh if you have any question you can ask uh, from me or Avon in the uh youtube channel or facebook channel that i mentioned in uh, the description Avon, last sentence <laughs> yeah go ahead um if you have any last sentence for oh, okay the last sentence um well, uh, last sentence. That's that's nice thing. So, uh, lastly, I yeah, I I would like to first thank part. you first. I would like to thank you first thank for you for uh, all, all the information because uh, now I'm aware about uh, the situation and the limitation in the Germany, and I've learned about Germany a lot from you. 
I, w I will connect with you later uh, again uh, about uh, job in Germany with more details. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to explain everything in short, you know, like short time, and uh, we can we can talk about this topic because if even if we are talking for a month it's not going to over so there are like a lot of opportunities a lot of things to discuss and yeah i mean it's not like i'm not talking about just positive things you know like there are like negative part of germany also like for example like if you are coming to uh, study like in a private universities you know so it's it's like it will be hard for you because there you have to pay a lot of fee like a lot of tuition fee which you cannot um, i mean if you think like you can work and make that money well you can make that money by working like a part time as a student but then your living expenses is also there so it will be hard for you to work and pay that high tuition fee so there are like there are these things also which you should not consider but again i mean it's a short period of time to discuss about these things and lastly i will thanks everyone who is watching that videos and if you have any kind of question doesn't matter whether you have like a silly questions all the questions are important it's just matter of like whether you want to know or not i mean not everyone knows everything so if you have any question reach out to me reach out to him or you can just comment and uh, then we can talk about that in more detail and we are here to assist you for your better education better life better future and also for a good job because um, we yeah. need it uh don't forget to like and also subscribe the can channels here and uh, also just start it the important things just is start uh, when you feel when you have anything your uh, your mind just uh, be practical and use that and just start prepare your uh, questions your informations collect data from us and uh, internet and also with questions um, we are here. Yeah, there, there, there is nothing wrong. Like uh, even like collecting, you know, like if you have like if you plan to like come to Germany, like in coming futures, you know, and you have some questions, ask it. You know, search on the uh, search on the internet. You know, like you we have now we are in twenty first century where we have like technology we have like uh, open ai just just ask everyone you know like search on internet and search on open ai or like ask us you know like you you can you can prepare yourself for a better future you are the one step out you know like you have to move ahead don't don't see back you know like what happens in future if you are worried about like you know if you are regretting about your future like whatever you did in past it's okay it's, you know like things happen but try to you know like see yourself in future like what you want to be in future what you want to achieve so that's like most important thing just forget about what you did you know it's yeah. always to just it just start now you know yeah thank you Thank you so much and thank you so much for visiting us in YouTube and don't forget to support us with comments and like. Have a yep. good and great. Bye. Thank you.